Now let's, uh... Damn, this place looks... Oh, look at all those stars. That is nice. That is nice. Let's go to the sink. Let's try and get as much... As much new crap as we can. I mean, we got the intro. Maybe we'll get talking to someone. And then, I don't know when we're gonna go shoot some stuff. But... Ooh. Personality files damaged. Insert the backup hollow tape. Damn it. So I got, let me guess. I gotta find a hollow tape. That requires a key. So I'm guessing there is a hollow tape nearby. There's a there's like a locker under here. Does it have a hollow tape in it? Nope. Just got some magnum magnum rounds. I imagine there's a hollow tape nearby, and what is that? That is a Bunsen burner, I think. Oh, it's a hot plate, sorry. My bad. And no, more men's hats. Probably probably not even gonna really use them. Some more water. I don't know what I just picked up besides that. Hollow tape. Looking for a hollow tape. Balcony, okay. I really hope the hollow tape's not out there. Chances are I probably already walked past it. I I'm good at doing that. This hot what is in here? That is that is food. That is not a hollow tape. Yep, insert the backup hollow tape. I do not have well what's in here? What are you? You were you are a pre-war book. You are also a pre-war book. Why is there no hot open a safe? It's empty. Fuck, what the First aid in case I fall and skin my knee. Now if if this hollow tape was anywhere, I would figure it would be in this room. Scientist scrubs. I would figure it'd be in this room. I'm gonna take this ammo. These mentats. However, it may not be in this room. What are you? You're a bottle cap. What the hell are you? Damn it. Everything needs a fucking hollow tape. I can sleep in the bed. We checked this, didn't we? Nope, we didn't. There's a bottle cap. So where in Carmen San Diego <clears throat> is this hollow tape? I need to I need to tread carefully. Don't tell me it's on that balcony. Please don't tell me it's on that balcony. Alright, alright. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take one more what what's in here? Did we check this place? That's just that stuff. Can I that requires a key. Actually let's go in here. <clears throat> let's let's check this out. Maybe the hollow tape isn't in there. Maybe we just need to take this elevator down and see what happens. Something just popped up. Pacifism. I cannot draw my weapons for some reason. Great. What is going on in this place? Okay, a lot of computers. I thought I heard the pacification field kick in. All right, shh. Nobody move. I'll handle this. Be warned, intruder. You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain. The collective geniuses of... We! Why, Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, Eight? Oh, Dr. O, was it? Likely story. O couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. Eight is sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now. Now. Great. Now oh, I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Mm, bipolar robot, I think. Dr. Klein, a transmission from the Forbidden Zone, coming right at us. It can only be... If it isn't my old colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain. Big fools, all of you. It is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone. A zone that is, yes, forbidden to you! Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions swarm across Big 
big mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine. Even the technology sealed in the big mountain research centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank. Wait for the end. That's all. Uh, goodbye. Seems like a lot of stating the obvious to me. Mobius. <laughs> yep. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten level research methodology. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered. Nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius and the technologies that could save us. They are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. This is so random, I can't even begin to tell you. What? Ask the lobotomite for help? Hey, I think you need the fluid levels near logic assist pumps checked. Nope. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, then it is clearly intelligent. Perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what of its brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. If we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. I like how they're just talking like I can't understand shit. Great. We removed your brain. Yes. So soft. Barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. Ooh, I got the brainless perk. Your brain has been replaced with advanced technologies. Your head can no longer be crippled and is resistant to chem addiction. Plus 25% resistance. And shock from bodily damage. Nice. Yay, no need to brag. <laughs> Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the... what? The, um... Uh, the thinger. The Tesla coils in its head! Yep, that. This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Oh, hey, I got medicine. Look at this. I got medicine here. Darla. Was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prodding and excision of living, breathing tissue quite seriously. Although in truth, the Autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. First was the heart. Oh my god, why? <laughs> Oh, now I got a heartless perk. Great. The scars on your chest seem to confirm what the think tank is saying. You cannot be poisoned and fit. Man, I am just like nothing. I am the invincible person right now. Except I'm more robot. I'm like this synthetic man here. This is great. Oh, wait. I mean, second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. Do I get anything for that? Oh, I got stuff for that, too. Look at that. Due to the complications of the procedure, the spine is very replaced as well. Your torso can no longer be... Man, I am the synthetic man of invincibility. Spine. Totally overrated. That arrangement.